All right, this is a problem from a heat transfer book, but it's more actually a review for fluid mechanics. We are working with a wind tunnel where a fan is able to provide us wind speeds of up to uh, 50 meters per second. And scientists want to analyze the boundary layer behavior up to Reynolds number of 10 to the 8. Now they want us to find what kind of length would they need for this plate to have in order for them to uh, be able to observe this. Now they also want us to find at what location along the length of this plate would transition occur. Transition meaning uh, where the flow would turn from laminar to turbulent flow. We also know that the surface temperature and also the air temperature is at 25 degrees Celsius. Now let's take a look at part A. We know our Reynolds number 10 to the 8. They, we need to find the length that uh, corresponds to this. Now if we look at our plate setup, what kind of flow do we have? We have external or internal flow. We are not inside a pipe, a duct, this is a flat plate and the air is flowing over it. So we are confident to say that this is external flow. Along the length of the plate, every single length has its own Reynolds number. So at this location we would have some kind of Reynolds number, at this location another one, here another one. Now here at the end, at length L, we would have another particular Reynolds number. And for us this is given 10 to the 8 right here. This is what's going to help us find the length. So let's take a look at our formulas for Reynolds number. Both of these are fine, the first and the second, but let's be lazy and pick the second one since for the second one we only need to find the property for our fluid, uh, our kinematic viscosity. For the first uh, formula you would have to find density and dynamic viscosity. So two properties to look up in a, in a table. So th for therefore I'm going to use the second one. Here it is. Uh, I looked up in tables. 25 degrees Celsius converted to Kelvin because most likely a table will be in Kelvin. And our kinematic viscosity is 15.71 10 to the negative 6. We're going to go back take our formula, the Reynolds number equals the velocity of the fluid times length over kinematic viscosity. We're gonna solve for length since that's the uh, that's what we are looking for and we're gonna go ahead plug everything in, everything we know, Reynolds number, kinetic viscosity and uh, velocity, we know them, calculate it, and we can find a 31.42 meter length for this plate in order to reach this kind of a uh, Reynolds number. Now for part B, they want us to find along this plate, at what point do we see transition from laminar to turbulent? We're gonna consider uh, our transition Reynolds number to be at 5 times 10 to the 5th. Now we're gonna rely on the same Reynolds number formulas that we used uh, in the previous part. We're gonna use the second one, same properties, but here instead of uh, the first Reynolds number that we used, we're gonna use this one, the critical 5 times 10 to the 5th Reynolds number. We're gonna plug everything in the viscosity and the velocity unchanged, the same as it was, and we can find a 0 0.1571 meter length. Now, just to put something, put this in perspective uh, as we close, let's see what kind of distance would this be. 31.42 meters, the length of our entire plate, and in order to reach the required Reynolds number, and transition would happen right at the beginning at 0 0.15, that's 15 centimeters, very, very early. So just to compare length, this would be almost the length of two articulated city buses 
and the transition would occur right here in the beginning basically i don't know probably wouldn't even pass the uh, bumper 